Keep that thing away from me. No, I know. I, know. I will drop kick it. <laughs> oh I will protect you, Ryan. Uh, congratulations, man. This movie is amazing. I could watch 15 more Knives Out movies. No pressure. <laughs> it's fine. I have to take a picture of all of you guys. This is incredible. This is your moment, everybody. Everybody smile. So having made two of these now, what's the secret sauce? What, what are the ingredients that makes a Knives Out movie work as well? It's all about the cast. I'm excited. I don't know who's been up here yet, but you guys are going to see all of them come up here and they're, they're amazing. And it's the reason we do it. I have a feeling someone just arrived behind me. I'm hearing screams. Uh, That's the thing with a cast like this. Like there are screams the entire night. Every five minutes, another scream. Um, talk to me about Daniel returning to Benoit. Um, did he did he miss a beat as soon as he gets back on set? Were you worried that the voice wouldn't come back? Or did he seem to relish it in a different way? What was it like? I mean, he had fun. He had to totally relearn the voice because he didn't want to just be copying the voice from the first one, like a photocopy of a photocopy. Uh, or like Michael Keaton in that movie about clones. He wanted to get it right, and so he put a lot of work into kind of relearning the accents. Are you able to enjoy the process of making a movie like this? Because it's a lot of work, it's a huge cast, but at the same time, you're in the Greek islands. You're surrounded by like 10 of the most talented human beings on the planet. Like, what are your memories of being in the Netherlands? It was, I think Edward said it was like a wonderful summer vacation where we also happened to make a movie on the side. That's what it felt like. And you'll see all of these, this whole cast, besides being so much fun in the movie, we just got to hung, hang out together. And it was just, it was, it was pretty awesome. I think the fun like shows through on the screen. I think you can see it when you watch the movie. It definitely does. How about, can we do actually, can we do a fan question first? Yeah, we're going to do a fan question because there's a lot of questions for you, Ryan. I'm going to grab one here for you, and uh, let's see what the fans want to This is not good. This is not going to be good. You almost had a drone attack. I don't know if you guys saw that. Pick up a random question, Ryan. Favorite scene to film. I have to say, it was pretty fun when Dave Bautista got in his little bikini bottom and came up out of the pool. I feel like there's, there were cast on set today just to cheer Dave on who weren't necessarily even in the scene to see that. So. It's an invaluable image. That, is, that is pretty fun. To say the least. Now, I don't want to be greedy, but looking ahead, there has to be an idea in your mind for the third film. A locale, something. Yeah, I mean, it'll involve a robot dog, I guess. That thing is about to kill both of us. Can, yeah. we, can we give you some inspiration? Let's get let's get our prop out here. I have a globe for you. Let's spin the globe and just decide what it's Okay, set. should we figure it out, where it's going to be? Yeah. Are you ready? All right, okay. spin the globe. Close my eyes. Oh, oh it's, we're, we're, hey, congratulations, guys. Uh, we're going to Utah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Knives out three in Salt Lake City. <laughs> That'd be great. I'll see you there in two years, yeah. man. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time. Guys, thank you guys. Oh.